So this book was already published once before. Um, in about, sorry, this book has always, uh, already been published once before, uh, about eight years ago. And uh, this colleague of mine, Heinz Liner, he was going to update the book at some point because you know you have new words coming in and uh, stuff like that happening. So and. Um, about a year before he decided to update the book, I had already been photographing for such a long time, photographing birds, because that's what I uh, I do for a living. I take people out on excursions to see birds around Goa. So I've been photographing birds, and then he had all these pictures, and I would show them to my dad. And dad has always been like really amazing with ideas, so um, that's how the, the other two books that happened, just ideas from my dad. So with this book, he just said, why don't you talk to Heinz, you know, um, because um, the earlier book didn't just had a few illustrations in it. And uh, it, it sold, but it didn't sell that much. So Dad figured that maybe if he put some plates in, in, inside the book, it uh, would add a nice touch to it. So then we checked with um, we checked with Heinz, and he was fine with it. But then we talked to Richard, uh, the Sousa, the conservator of the forest. And he said, why don't you go all out? I'll, I'll, I'll give you the money to you just make a coffee table book. So, you know, suddenly we were like in business because then we could afford like a designer and, you know, really uh, um, all color pages and not just plates in between and all that. So, so that's how the book basically came into being. It was me contributing the pictures and Heinz's text. So, uh, this is not a book really to identify birds. Now, I'm going to like be very clear about that. If you want to identify birds, actually, what you need to do is to get uh, an illustrated guide, say like um, uh, Birds of the Indian Subcontinent by Carol and Skip and Rich, um, Richard Grimmett, I think so. Yeah, Grimmett and Skip. So you would think that the best way to identify a bird would be to see a photograph of it, but actually what works best is to always go by an illustration. It's the same as like identifying a person possibly, which is why you do a sketch, because what the artist does when he, a good artist will accentuate or like uh, highlight the identifying features of a bird. So, because if you take a picture of a bird in different lights or different angles, in different positions, different times of the year, different seasons, you know, different, like, uh, say different ages of the bird itself, it will look completely different. So what is, what is the common factor in that bird? What differentiates it from the other bird? And that's why you always go with an illustrated guide. You don't go with a photographic guide to identify birds. So this is basically, uh, Heinz has brought this book out um, because um, it's, it's, it's a sub, no, no, not even a supplement, actually it's a book that stands by itself and it's basically discussing and giving you certain information about birds in Goa, birding into Goa. You know? So if you're identifying birds in Goa, you can buy an illustrated guide to the Indian subcontinent, that's the best one. But this is just Goa, all the birds recorded in Goa. And he talks about where it was first recorded and which area it was recorded and things like that. So when you, if you peruse through the book, if you go through it, just look at his style, what he's mentioned. Because he's not mentioned all the details like, say, how many, possibly how many eggs it lays or like, or, uh, or, its, or its call or certain things like that. He's mentioned what he felt was important. And what I added to that were the photographs. And um, uh, initially it was just the photographs and then um, the designer, uh, Anilo, he was he's also really brilliant with ideas, so he said, I want a story like with all the photographs, and I want something about that will uh, get a photographer or somebody who's interested in birds. When he sees the picture, if you just, uh, as he was saying, right, if, you, if you don't, uh, what, what did you say? He said, uh, if you put the mind... Uh, it does not know, the eye does not see. Yeah. yeah. So if you just see the picture by itself, you know nothing about it. You don't know whether the bird is rare, how close you were, what it was photographed with, how long it took, none of these things. So that was Annie's, um, uh, what he decided, he said, you know, just gives, <coughs> give details. I want a story. So I started, well, if it isn't, wasn't enough work already getting the pictures in order, I had to sit and start making notes and writing stuff uh, for that as well. Okay, so shall I just hold on for a second? You can carry on talking. But then you're, this thing won't be working here. Don't worry, sound will Wait, come. Wait, so Rahul tell something else now. This thing was in our library in the medical college. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, what the mind does not know, the eye does not see. And okay. the other one was, uh, because it is, you know, regarding what? A doctor. Okay. Example. So, 
to read books mm. alone mm. is like sailing an uncharted sea. It's also William Wasnapple. Uh, but not to read books is not to go to sea at all. Mm. Mm. Isn't about you know, why? Because you don't know what's a disease. Yeah. You don't think yeah. of the various alternatives. Yeah. Like you see a black hole. You know, it could be a crow. It could be a miner. Yeah. It could be a pigeon. Mm. It could be so many things. Then you start knowing something. Like what does it look like? The animal. What yeah. is the size? Yeah. Yeah. What is the eyes color, the beak color, yeah. the call. Then you know, you know all these things. Then you start. Carry on. Carry on. Yeah. Carry on. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I can pop the laptop open and show you some pictures. Yeah. Discuss. Uh, I mean, what the same pictures from the book, basically, and uh, like discuss some of the photographs also. Of course. Just give me a second. No, I thought your story also was going nicely because uh, you were telling us the background. So don't yeah, worry about yeah, the lights. Sure, sure. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. The camera is still rolling. We'll get the audio at least. So. <laughs> yeah, why not show you some pictures while we're doing the story? So I'm going to run through... 